is Friday today, so we've got dictation. So get yourselves a pen and a piece of paper, and I'm going to read you the sentences. Right, the first sentence, oh, by the way, don't forget that we, we would like to see your punctuation as well. Right, the first sentence is, the ugly witches had itchy scalps. The ugly witches had itchy scalps. Right, when you've done that one, the next sentence is, what time does your watch say? What time does your watch say? When you've done that one, we've got the third sentence. Eight gnomes watched 13 worms. Eight gnomes watched 13 worms. Right, when you've done those sentences and you're happy with them, then you can put your pen down and get yourself a marking crayon or a marking pen and Mr. Morris is going to go through them with you. Okay, here we go. So, the ugly witches had itchy scalps. If you've used a capital T to start your sentence, give yourself a tick. Witches, that is one of the words with the ch sound that we've been focusing on this week. So if you spelt it, W-I-T-C-H-E-S, give yourself a tick. Itchy is spelt I-T-C-H-Y. Tick for that one. And of course, this sentence is a statement, so it needs a full stop. Okay, so there are four marks possible for the first sentence. The second sentence, what time does your watch say? So if you've used a capital W to start your sentence, give yourself a tick. If you spelt watch, W-A-T-C-H, give yourself a tick. And what type of sentence is this? It's a question, so it needs a question mark. And there are three marks possible for the second sentence. Going on to the final sentence. Eight gnomes watch 13 worms. So if you've used a capital E to start your sentence, there's a tick there. The number eight is a tricky word. It's spelled E-I-G-H-T. There's a tick for that. Gnomes, that's a word from last week with the silent G, so it's Silent G, N-O-M-E-S. Watched is W-A-T-C-H-E-D. So thinking about Uncle Ed there. And 13, another slightly tricky word, is T-H-I-R-T-E-E-N. Worms um, is spelled W-O-R-M-S. Slightly tricky spelling of the er sound there. And again, a full stop for that statement. So in total you have 14 marks. So well done.